sitting in the business class lounge at Shanghai Railway Station and I'm here for a very special reason. I'm actually taking a train from here in Shanghai to Beijing and the reason I'm taking this train is this line uh, operates the one of the world's fastest trains and is China's fastest train and it's the Fuxing CR400 and um, it has a in-service operation speed of 400 kilometers an hour and it has an average cruising speed of about 290 kilometers an hour so I wanted to show you guys what this train is like I've bought a business class ticket which is the uh, most expensive ticket you can buy so uh, let's go and experience it together so it's quite a nice comfortable environment here in the business class lounge you've got some uh, drinks and snacks and then all around here is the the boards <coughs> um, showing the train departure times and things like that mine's the G14 which is uh, scheduled to depart at Wow, what a beautiful train that is. So you're able to go straight from the business class lounge um, onto the platform. You don't have to go back through the other waiting room, which is pretty cool. Right, we're in seat 5F. Ni hao. Uh. Here. Oh, F. 5F. Oh, this is our seat here. And this one here. These um, little suites here. This is uh, this is pretty nice. Got the whole carriage here. It's lovely. Yeah. So the um, the train is supposed to depart at 11.53 so let's just see how um, punctual it is I've now got my uh, slippers on and my legs are stretched right out which is, is great um, very comfortable indeed got a little um, hook here to hang your uh, clothes on well, I apologise for the um, flickering lights um, there's obviously a frequency causing that in the um, frequency of the lights but I've tried the camera on all the different settings um, and I can't seem to um, get it to stop uh, it's a very grey cold rainy day outside today but uh, nice and warm and cosy here in this uh, seat so according to my phone, we've just gone to 11.54. So it's actually, we're a minute over when we're supposed to depart. I will say though that um, generally trains are much more reliable from a time point of view than flying. Actually this, this ticket, um, the, the journey cost is, 2330 RMB and that's for a business class ticket I'll give you the prices for um, regular tickets a little later but um, that's significantly more expensive than I could get a flight between Shanghai and Beijing however flights tend to be delayed a lot more and um, checking in at the train station there's a lot less hassle um, from security and, and, and that point of view just one one minute um, over 11.53 and we are leaving the station in Shanghai. So this is actually one of the um, busiest routes in China, the Shanghai to Beijing line. And um, this train is the G14 
and I wanted this one specific because I knew it was the latest Fuxing CR400 and it's China's most modern train but interestingly this morning um, I uh, read some news uh, just before I got on the train that um, either next year 2025 um, Chinese railway uh, anticipates introducing a train onto the Beijing Shanghai line that will do an average speed of 450 kilometers an hour cutting the journey time down to two and a half hours and that's just it's just incredible really so around 10 to 15 minutes into the journey um, the uh, young lady has come around and asked us if we want drinks and the choices were um, orange juice, Sprite, black tea or Pepsi and I opted for Pepsi. Now, um, she also asked um, what I would like for lunch and the choices were pork and rice or beef and rice and I've gone for the beef and rice but I've often complained or moaned a little bit about the um, quality of the food on the high speed train service here yeah not impressed with the food I think um, from my experience business class food on airlines is way better than the business class food uh, on the high speed train um, I haven't been eating much of it not very impressed at all this is interesting we, we're beside a highway and the cars just look as if they're going so slow we're absolutely flying past them look it's uh, just gives you a sense of the speed we're doing oh you can see how slow those cars look to be moving on the highway now they will probably be doing around 100 kilometers an hour on the highway and we are passing them as if they're absolutely stood still so it is my first time on um, this particular train with this business class configuration and uh, it's very very nice, I, I like it, it's kind of the only little private room on a plane. It actually very much reminds me of the um, layout of the first class on the Emirates A380, although that doesn't have the door, um, it does remind me of that, um, so I, I think they may be um, borrowed some of the idea here from um, business class on, on airlines but it's very very nice it's very very comfortable now I've had a little bit of um, a bite to eat I've had I didn't eat much of the, the lunch but I've eaten a couple of snacks I've finished off my uh, Pepsi so now I'm gonna uh, get my head down on this uh, live flat seat so the uh, pillow here now I'm um, six foot tall and uh, this is plenty big enough for me put my glasses there but yeah I'm gonna have um have a little sleep so I'll see you a little bit later so just to um, give you an idea of pricing on, on this route on this train as I said earlier the business class was 2330 it's actually 2331 I've just checked uh, if you're first class, that's 1067, and then um, standard class, which is second class, is 667, which actually I think is very, very reasonable. Uh, you're on the same train. Um, now, I, I would normally take first class, they're slightly wider seats than second class, and you've got a bit more room if you want to do some work on your laptop or something like that. I still think that's very reasonable. So it's about I don't know three and a half to four times the standard fare to travel and business class and it's a little over double the first class fare personally I wouldn't normally take this because um, I think it's a bit excessive to spend this kind of money on a, a sort of journey that's less than five hours um, but as I say, I, I did it because I wanted to show you guys what the um, business class travel was like on um, this super fast ultra high speed train. So I've just checked the flight costs uh, for later today, obviously, because it's already 
it's 3 30 in the afternoon so a flight to later on this evening but an economy class flight between um, Shanghai and Beijing is around about six to seven hundred RMB and if you want to go business class it's somewhere between sort of 1600 and 2000 RMB so it is actually um, considerably cheaper um, than the train the flight time is about two hours 30 two hours 40 minutes uh, but I think overall the time of the train being four hours 45 is probably not that different from the uh, flight time you know given the time of actually going through all the check-in and um, security at an airport and having to be there and board and all that kind of stuff um, obviously with a train you don't have to board anywhere near as early as you do with a plane it's actually really quite impressive um, what China have done with high-speed rail uh, when I first started coming here uh, almost 20 years ago now there was no high-speed rail and I remember my very first uh, experience on a high-speed train I went from Shanghai to Hangzhou um, I forget the, the, the journey time that was way less than an hour and previous to that it was it was above two hours um, but on numerous times I've traveled from um, uh, Shanghai to to Guangzhou and that took like 16 or 18 hours and previously on the green train that was a very challenging uh, journey you know uh, if you had a sleeper it wasn't too bad but I once did it in a seat that was a journey I wouldn't really wish to repeat again it's, it's quite it's quite difficult doing a 17 or 18 hour journey in a, in a train seat um, but like now you've got these high speed trains um, although they are more expensive than the green trains they are not crazy expensive and a lot of westerners will, will often point out that oh you know he loses money and yeah I, I think overall it probably doesn't make money but there's a, there's a lot of things that are not easily uh, measured so you've got to think of the benefit to the overall economy the high speed rail has and um, many many people move around on the high speed rail you know during new new year they have hundreds of millions of, of journeys on the high speed rail it allows people to get back to their hometowns to see their families and such like so yeah I'm, I'm very much in favor of it i just feel that some westerners will, will um, criticize it because it's something that they don't have um, europe has some high speed trains but uh, the uk doesn't have any high speed trains at all and as far as i'm aware the usa doesn't have any high speed trains but i i really like traveling on on high speed trains in, in china i actually prefer it to flying to be honest um, so because the um it's much more comfortable it's much more roomier um i i don't always travel business class actually this is slightly over my budget but i'm actually doing this so i can show um, you guys what it's actually like if, if, if you want to do it and it's a it's a lovely um, sort of uh, uh, compartment we have it's very, very private it's very very nice got a nice big window to uh, look outside there sadly it's a very misty cloudy day today but yeah just the way it is I'm going to give um, some of these cookies a try uh, from my little cookie box and here it goes Mm. Yeah, very nice, very tasty, uh, quite sweet. Yeah, some sort of butter, cu butter cookie. Yeah, very nice. Um, other thing that I think is great about traveling by train as opposed to aeroplane is you get to see much more of the. Um, Chinese countryside or China in general I mean looking out of this lovely big panoramic window it's a bit of a hazy misty day today it's a bit overcast not very clear but it's still much nicer um, you know watching the uh, the Chinese countryside go by than the view you would have out of a plane window something else that I want to mention um, is that you have really good 
Wi-Fi connectivity on here so you can you know you can work as if you were working in an office it's no problem at all that great connectivity pretty much all the way to Beijing so yeah that's a that's a that's a plus okay so that's it Shanghai to Beijing on the Fuxing CR400 Intelligent I really hope you liked that video if you did consider giving it a thumbs up if you um, like the channel in general consider hitting that subscribe button but as always for now take care